Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella. Today I'm gonna to be filming this makeup look for you using some of my favorite complexion products. And I'm also gonna walk you through how I achieved such a nice complexion that came out absolutely beautiful in pictures through a previous reel that I have done for you. If you're curious to see how I achieved this makeup look, then please keep watching. So to start this makeup look, I have completely finished my skincare and I'm feeling very nice and hydrated. My skincare has been on actually for a little bit over 20 minutes now, which gives it a good amount of time just to kind of soak in and absorb. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I always do this no matter how much makeup I'm wearing because I feel like it just does such a good job in helping the makeup set into place and stay put all day. So I like to focus especially on my T-zone and on the outer parts of my face. And I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer, which is just my absolute favorite. And after I apply the primer, I like to give it a few seconds until it feels nice and velvety and smooth. That's how I know that the primer has set down and I'm ready to go ahead with the rest of my makeup. And now that my primer has set, I'm just gonna jump straight into concealer and uh, contour. I skip foundation and you can apply foundation, but I like to do a little bit of underpainting, see what my skin looks like, and then decide if I'm gonna be wearing foundation or not. So to start with the contour, I'm using Westman Atelier. I have the shade Biscuit, which I like to use around my lips and my nose, and I have the shade Truffle, which I like to use everywhere else. So starting with Truffle, I like to use that on my cheeks, forehead, and a little bit right here. And then Biscuit, I kind of like to apply at the end too a little bit if I need it. I just do around my lips. And then for my concealer, I'm using the Hourglass. I have the shade Sipia. A little goes a really long way with this concealer. I mean, it, it's got a great coverage and it's super brightening. I don't feel like I need to mix it even with anything else. So I'll apply a little bit underneath my eyes. Right here around my nose, on this pimple, and my chin. So starting with the contour, I use a flat brush from Sephora, and I just lightly blend. I don't worry about having this be perfect right now because we still have quite a few things to do, and I kind of touch all this up after. For my foundation, first I like to use the Sephora. This is the Pro Concealer Brush. And I just kind of get the concealer to go everywhere where I want it to and help it set into place. And then I will go over the concealer again using a different brush. And I'm sitting in front of a very big window. There's a lot of natural light coming in. I feel like this really shows how the makeup is going to turn out. And I absolutely love doing my makeup in front of a huge window, especially if my makeup is used for the day, like I'm going outside right after, because this just helps me really know what my makeup is gonna look like outside. And it's just the perfect place. So now that I've got everything, you can see it's definitely not blended out, but kind of everywhere where I want it to be, I like to go back and fix where I need to. So I'm definitely gonna be blending this out. And then this way I can also see if I need a little bit more of a product. So I definitely feel like I need a little bit more on my forehead, especially now that I'm tanned. And I can use a tiny bit here too. And since my nose contour is pretty much gone with uh, the concealer, I like to apply a little bit more on the tip of my nose and on my eyelids. And then again, we blend. Try to do this with 
a lighter hand and maybe take a little bit longer to blend all of this out rather than just kind of smearing it all over my face. And getting this all in my hairline for my nose contour. I like to use my fingers, that way I make sure that I really get it onto the sides. And then use my brush, that way I know that there's no harsh lines. And I do the same thing for my lips. Now for uh, foundation, I'm going to be using the Chanel Les Beige. This is the Water Fresh. I have the shade B30. I absolutely love this. I'm going to flash a picture of a makeup look I did using this foundation. And I have like one and a half pumps on the palm of my hand. This looks so beautiful in person and in pictures. Uh, there was flash photography at that event and I was just absolutely stunned when I seen how good my makeup looks. There was no harsh lines, like everything just looked really, really nice. And that's why I'm re recreating that makeup look for you. So I just kind of break down the pigment with a different brush. This is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. And where I like to apply this first is where I have no concealer. So right here, a little bit on my forehead and bringing it down to my neck. You can see that my contour here was a little bit harsh and this really helps smooth everything out. And now what I like to do is with whatever's left on this brush, I just kind of help blend all of this in. So starting exactly where I have no concealer or contour, just to get most of the product off the brush. And then I go in everywhere else and you'll see how soft the makeup will start to look. So now that I have pretty much blended all of these products together, you can see how soft and subtle my contour looks like and also just how pretty the complexion looks. I just absolutely love it. We're not finished yet, but all together I feel like you have such a good idea of how the makeup is coming along. And what you can do at this point is take a clean beauty blender if you want to get off any excess product and just kind of tap it before we go in and set all of this makeup down. And you can see I've got a decent amount of product off and now I'm ready to set this makeup. So to set, I'm gonna be starting with the eyes and I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the shade Light and it is the blurring under eye powder. I think this was probably my best purchase of this year because it sets the under eyes so beautifully. I feel like I've mentioned this product before, but I feel like it's the secret of a lot of makeup artists. And I get this on a powder puff and then I just gently use this powder. And I don't mind to put a little bit more. And then as you kind of use the powder puff to help spread out the product and it helps get any of the excess product off. And I like to use very little on top of my eyes as well, because I feel like this helps prevent my eye makeup from creasing throughout the day. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. I have the shade 1 Fair. And to set down my powder, I'm going to be using a setting brush from Real Techniques. And it's very compact. I feel like it helps me get the powder to set exactly where I need it, specifically in my T-zone. I only use a little bit of powder everywhere else because I am going to be using a bronzer and I just don't tend to get that oily around my face. If you have a oily skin type, then you can definitely take the time and set your face absolutely everywhere, including on your cheekbones and your forehead. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Valentino. This is the powder bronzer. It doesn't tell me the shade number here. I believe it's 00. I'll have it linked in the description. And this just, it's something else. Again, it looks super nice in pictures. 
It looks very nice in person. And it's not orange, which I love. I just feel like the color is absolutely perfect. And it's not very dry. It just gives your face a very nice glow. And I just apply that everywhere where we just did the contour just to kind of warm up my skin. Next for blush, my absolute favorite blush. I feel like if I were to do a video of this year's favorites, this would definitely be in there. This is the Valentino Eye to Cheek. I have the shade number two. And you can see it looks super pink here, but once I apply it on my skin, I feel like it just looks like I'm actually blushing and looks very natural and beautiful on me. So I apply it on a brush. This is a Morphe brush and I like to start very high up and work my way down a little bit on the tip of my nose on my eyelids to make the makeup appear a lot more cohesive. And then I like to go with a beauty blender because I feel like I applied a tad bit too much here and this will really help me. Perfect, absolutely love this blush. I feel like this is the blush that I wear that I get the most compliments on as well and I just love the way that it makes me feel. Uh, next for eyebrows, I just fill them in very quickly. I use the Dior eyebrow pencil and the gel as well. So for my eyes, because this is um, that glam look that I did but turned into every day, my complexion is pretty much the same. But for my eyeshadow, I like to use the same exact thing that I used as a bronzer, the Valentino. And I just go in with a really fluffy, this is a crease brush. And I do just apply it in my crease just to help give myself a little bit of definition there. And then if I'm rushing, I usually just squeeze it and apply it underneath my eyes as well. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply some mascara, and I'll be right back. So I've curled my eyelashes and for mascara, I use the YSL Lash Clash Mascara, which has been my number one favorite since the day that I've purchased it. I now applied the brown shade, which I like to use during the day. And then I have the black that I like to use in the evening time. Last but not least, moving on to the lips. For my lip liner, I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Nude Truffle. It is absolutely gorgeous, so affordable, and the shade is like, it just can't be better. It is the perfect nude, not too brown, not too pink. And what I like to do is to outline my lips, and then we'll go ahead and apply some lip gloss. And for a very bronzy makeup look and for an everyday makeup look. I just love a brown lip liner in general. I have a million shades of them. I just feel like this goes very well with this makeup look and with this lip gloss. I have the Dior Lip Oil in the shade Pink, which is 001. And I take a little bit of this and I apply it in the center of my lips because that's where I want to focus the product. And then with my finger, I just gently spread it everywhere else. And in just a few seconds, it'll begin to blend very nicely with the rest of my makeup. And that is it. I like to set my face. Again, it's very early in the morning and in the day. I am going to be having this makeup on all day, so I feel like to set is that one little extra step to make sure that everything stays put throughout the day. And to set, I like to use the Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. And just help it dry down with my hands or if you want your makeup to be a little bit more matte then you can use that beauty blender and just gently tap it in around my around your face and it will help your makeup appear a little bit more matte so that is it you guys that's my take on the underpainting and how to get a beautiful complexion for every day or if you're going out as well thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one